We've been trawling through our archives to look back on the development of golf's latest major champion, tracing his long journey to that glorious Sunday afternoon at Royal Troon. Henrik Stenson's first victory on the European Tour was all the way back in 2001, and the Swede has collected 18 more titles around the world since. But it's been a long, hard slog to the top, with coach and mentor Pete Cowan at his side from the very beginning. Henrik's always been one that wants to get better all the time. It doesn't matter how good he is yesterday or the day before, he wants to get better. He's a great ball striker. There's a different noise when Henrik gets the ball to anybody else. You can ask anybody that stands on the range. There's a proper thump every time he hits it, you know, and it, it, it's almost as though he's trying to destroy the ball with the noise that it, yeah, it, when he hits it, and it's definitely different. Stenton's had to deal with some significant career slumps along the way, particularly when a waterborne parasite led to a dramatic loss of weight and his prized conditioning in 2009. Before this summer, Stenton's peak was 2013. That year, he was runner-up to Phil Mickelson at the Open, then third at the PGA Championship, before going on to become the first player to win both PGA and European Tour Championships. After such a superb streak, it was perhaps inevitable that his performances would fall away, as he admitted when we spoke to him the following season. Early on, I was I was kind of still tired from, from last year, and you still feel like you need to practice and you want to practice, but you don't really have the energy to do it, so then you can't expect great things either. So at least now it feels like we're back up to par again and, and uh, we're ready to go. In 2014, he didn't hit the same heights, but remained a contender in the majors and retained the DP World Tour Championship at the end of the year in Dubai. All right, he won FedEx and he won the race to Dubai, he won the DP World, he won everything in 2013. And he, he played golf that only he could play on PlayStation. He was unbelievable. I mean, he didn't miss any greens. He was just stunning the way he played. So that's a pinnacle, but it was most impressive the way he came through his bad spells. And Stenson has never wavered in believing that he'd eventually win one of the big ones, as Anna found out when she spoke to him at last year's US Open. You're still chasing that first major championship. How do you stop yourself from putting too much pressure on weeks like this? You know, make it a little bit extra, but not too much. And um, I just fancy uh, my chances that one of these days, if I keep on preparing well and playing well at the majors, I, I will get my chances. So it's all about doing that. Those continuing hopes of major success looked distant this season until he won the BMW International Open in June, a priceless confidence boost heading to Troon after a sequence of eight second-place finishes since his previous victory. Stenson wasn't one of the favourites in Scotland, but he knew he could compete, and so did his team. You don't have to calm him down, you don't have to G him up. He's had peaks and troughs in his career, so... It's at a peak at the minute and I'm trying to enjoy it for what it is. I mean, he said to me going up the 18th, the rider coach says, let's enjoy this in the singles. Now, that, if you're not a pretty grounded individual, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be, you'd be too wrapped up in the moment, I think. And he, he came out with it, just wandering up before we got to the second shot, which was, that kind of sums it up for me. Henrik Stenson. Grounded, a fine ambassador for the game and immensely popular with his peers, Henrik Stenson is now a major winner and deserves every plaudit he receives. No, it's massive. It's massive for golf in Sweden. It's uh, massive for me as, a, as an athlete to, to accomplish a childhood dream, really, to win the Open Championship, uh, be a major champion. I've had a very successful and long career, but uh, that was definitely the icing on the cake and uh, a very proud moment. 